Welcome back to Nougat Cowboy. Appreciate you tuning in. Make sure you like, subscribe. You know what to do. Uh, so we sure to appreciate you if you're a new viewer. Uh, thank you for uh, tuning in. I really do appreciate that. Today we're at Crockett Power Sports once again. We got our boy Casey Crockett here. Casey, uh, tell us a little bit about this. I called it Betty Blue. I know that's not the official color of this motorcycle, but the 2020 Indian Scout. Hey Joe, good to see you today, man. Yeah, the official color is called Deep Water Metallic, and uh, the light out here is not doing it justice. We can't get some sun to shine down on it, but it is actually a beautiful, beautiful color and looks great with the tan leather. Uh, of course, we do have, like you said, the 2020 Indian Scout, uh, 1,133 cc's, putting out 100 horsepower and 72 foot-pounds of torque, 31 degree lean angles, just, just an absolute blast to drive. And of course, you know you've got the Scout 60 as well, so um, just, just awesome machines, man. Obviously, Indian motorcycles and Scout, this is their baby. This is what they came up on, and uh, this product has been tried and true for many, many years. Absolutely. You know, when the Scouts first came out, um, the latest generation of them in 2015, they got Motorcycle of the Year from Motorcycle.com and Best Cruiser of the Year from, uh, I believe it's Cycle World. Uh, so, yeah, it's, it's got a lot of awards and just, just a lot of them, you know, flying out the doors, man. It's hard to keep them in stock. Well, Casey, we appreciate it, man. We're going to take this, uh, this girl out, the 2020 Indian Scout. Uh, how can people get in touch with you here at Crockett Power Sports? Uh, give us a call at the dealership, 423-760-3670. They're welcome to send me an email, Casey at CrockettPowerSports.com, and Casey is C-A-Y-C-E. Well, there you go, the beautiful 2020 Indian Scout. I hope you enjoy this test ride. You know what time it is. Let's ride. All right, everybody, welcome back. Nuga Cowboy, and today we're on another test ride. Uh, today we have the 2020 Indian Scout. <clears throat> uh, legendary name in the Indian line, so we're going to see how she performs. And here we go. So the 2020 Indian Scout, you're working with about 1,200 cc's, six gears, and this color is pretty nice. Uh, blue, I forget what uh, color, what the official name of it was, Casey told us, uh, but uh, a good looking bike. Around the town bike with, with plenty of juice. And I just noticed um, when I get to a red light, you know, we'll uh, we'll see how it does with acceleration and uh, compared to uh, and just comparing it to my Scout 60, but uh, it's a very smooth bike. So far, just from what I, from what I've experienced, not very torquey, smooth throttle. But plenty of power and some people like them uh, the torquey throttles uh, I'm somewhere in between uh, a little torquey just so you, you know it's there but uh, smooth at the same time and I think um, maybe this maybe that's what this is it's a little torquey but you can tell very smooth and the power delivery and uh, I rode a ton of Indian bikes and you know, this is a uh, scout's what they hang their hat on. They've hung their hat on it for a number of years. This is their baby, and uh, rightfully so. It's a, it's a great motorcycle. So whenever we get to red light, we'll, we'll test out acceleration. And, uh, of course, give you thoughts on brakes, ride, as far as comfort goes, ergonomics. We'll cover it all here on this test ride. If you're new to the channel, hit that like button. Love it for you. Uh, love it if you subscribe. Certainly would appreciate that. Nothing but love, baby. Nothing but love. Ain't no hate here. I can tell you right there because I've taken this route. Oh, okay. <laughs> On a number of my test rides. 
and the, the suspension it still could use some work. I mean, it is a cruiser. It's not uh, not a dirt bike. <laughs> so take that for what it's worth. Just a gloomy day here in Chattanooga, by the way. I'm off next week, so of course, looks like uh, it's going to rain all week. Fantastic. Just when I thought I would be able to get some major riding time in. No. Uh, maybe that'll change. I'm hoping. Back to the test ride. So I believe this has the uh, same gas tank as the other Scouts, which is going to be 3.3 liters or 3.3 gallons. And I've got my motorcycles uh, modded up a little bit, so I'm not I'm not gonna probably can't compare my gas mileage to what this one will get. This is a very smooth riding bike, very smooth. To be a cruiser, somewhat entry level, rides great, man. You see nothing fancy. You've got the speedometer here. You've got the, your gears, your mileage. There's a mode button right here. You can see my finger uh, where you can go you see what uh, your trip uh, mileage is, your RPM, your heat, your uh, temperature, your uh, voltage, and then back to uh, total mileage. Only 12 miles on this bad boy. So we'll go back to RPM. That's usually what I keep mine on. yeah feel that this one this one is not uh, as torquey as my scout 60 it's still got a little uh, and again I've said it before but you're not gonna lose you're not losing any power it's, a, it's more of a, a smooth throttle but it's there it's there you're gonna have no issue uh, with an escape route you know if you run into a little trouble you need to get off to the side you're not gonna have any problem um, getting there with this motorcycle There we go, do a little engine brake in there. Uh, you've got your on-off switch, kill switch. Uh, some people say don't call it kill switch. I guess political correctness or something, kill switch. Uh, you got your uh, starter right there. You got your green light, that should go. And this is a fun, fun bike. Really get around. A little red match. Can't really hear it because of this exhaust. I said it on some of the other Indian motorcycles, but the, the one thing that if I were to buy an Indian motorcycle, I would change would be the exhaust. I just think they're just too quiet. I mean, it's all about loud and alive. I, I truly believe that because... When I first bought mine, I didn't uh, change out the exhaust right away. And a number of times, you're driving by, uh, riding by someone, and they're on their phone, or they don't even know you're there. You know, it's it can be scary. Got to be safe as much as possible when you're on a motorcycle. And I think that would be one way to do it. Uh, louder exhaust. People got to know you're there. And this is a very, uh, this riding position is very comfortable. You're just obviously not a sport bike, so you're more sitting straight up. Uh, I think the bars are in the perfect position uh, to, to ride this motorcycle. And of course, you can change out the bars, do what you want to with them. But you can put some serious mileage on this bike just with uh, the way it's set up right now. ABS brakes, that's always comforting knowing that you have ABS. So how many times have you watched the YouTube clip and uh, someone that doesn't have ABS, they run into a situation where they, they're grabbing the brake, like in an emergency situation, and next thing you know, 
head over heels or, or they drop it so uh, I'll never buy a bike again without ABS just for the safety aspect when I get on the highway we'll see what the the power band is on this and see where it's really comfortable what RPMs and if I were to guess when you get up to that 3500 4000 that's when you really start feeling okay now it's at its comfort level it's starting to get comfortable I'll say that I mean it can when you're on the motorcycle you, you can tell when you're riding and you start uh, going up through the gears, you get those RPMs up, you can tell where the motorcycle wants to be. For whatever bike you're riding. Good brakes, really good brakes. Whether you're talking about the engine or the actual brakes, it does well. I'm not a fan of the wheels, just to be straight up with you. Um, so this is uh, this is not my the look I would go for, but it's a good look. I mean, I just seen other other motorcycles that look a little bit better. You can see you can move these handlebars up, and you can actually put the the mini apes onto the Scout and the Scout 60 without changing out any cables. So if that's something that you'd be interested in, move this bar up, tilt it up a little bit, put those mini, mini apes on. That will also allow you to mount these, to mount these rear view mirrors right here with the right bracket. So where they're coming down right here and then they're right here, which is a much cooler look in my opinion. Never been a, a fan of uh, these Mickey Mouse mirrors. See what this guy's gonna do. Now we're about to get on the highway up here, so we'll see what our girl here's got. Betty Blue. That's not a real name, but that's why I'm calling her. Because every motorcycle needs a name. And I think that's uh that's law. At least here in Tennessee. Now let's go. Come on, baby, let's go. There we go, no problem at all. Yeah, fix that road, son. There you go, let's get that six gear. They really didn't need the six gear until now. On highway speeds, interstate speeds. That's what that's what I love about this motorcycle compared to the Scout 60. You only have five gears on the Scout 60, six gears on uh, the Indian Scout and the Scout Bobber. It makes a difference to me. That extra gear, the extra power, especially here. On uh, the highway, interstate, it just it makes a difference. I mean, if you're just around town, who cares? You don't need it. Let's get over. Oh, geez, I hope it's not rain up there. That'd suck. have a test ride with rain? Come on! So yeah, when you're looking at uh, six gear, we're talking about the comfort level of the bike. You know, you can tell where it's comfortable, what RPMs is at. And six gear, you're looking at about 3,500 to 3,700. That's safe space I guess is the way to say it it just rides well not much vibration 
This is the this is we can compare this to Netflix and chill. This is the bikes Netflix and chill. Just riding along. You got your horn. You got your horn. Your uh, blinkers, hazard, and your brights, lows, and your bright. It's a very simplistic set up here on the Indian Scout. But what, what else do you need, really? I mean, if you're buying this motorcycle, you're buying it just for around town. Most likely, you don't need a GPS, but you can obviously hook up a... Put a mount on here and mount your phone. And also, just a side note, uh, I've seen the adapters from your Tinder, from your Tinder hookup uh, to a USB, so you can mount the USB to your Tinder, and you've got a, a charger, built-in charger. Some come with an on-off switch, some don't. So uh, I'm going to purchase one of those. It's a very handy thing, especially if you uh, got a little little juice in your phone, you can charge it up while you're on the road. And uh, very smooth uh, shifting on the gears too. Never had a, an issue with that on an Indian motorcycle. Just do brakes here. Nice. Nice. Brakes grab really well. You gotta be either not paying attention or just riding recklessly to, to rear end someone. I mean, with these brakes. It's just one man's opinion. I would love to hear this thing with some exhaust on, maybe a two in one. Be balls. You got plenty of plenty of mirror, plenty of uh, your viewing field here. So the mirrors are good. They are good. Now I was bashing the mirrors earlier, but for being able to see uh, a good. Uh, a good portion of uh, the road with these mirrors, they are good. They're pretty good. If you were to go the route I suggested where you take these off, and these are 10 millimeter boats, bolts, so you'd uh, replace that with just a, a regular 10 millimeter bolt, and you buy the brackets that you could put on your handlebars, so it would, uh, it would look something like it would come off here, down, and then over, so your, that part of the, your actual mirror would be like right here. Your actual part of your mirror would be right here. Bracket would attach here, come down, and then then over. If you, I don't know if you're able to see that, but check out the videos of my motorcycle. You'll see what I'm talking about. You will lose a little bit of your view when you do that, and you would it does require many apes uh, to make that work. And I'll be the first to tell you I'm not going to I'm not going to ride my motorcycle cross country because it's just not built for that it's a cruiser it's not a touring bike so you know it's not built for that um, but you can get some pretty some pretty good miles on this in one trip a lot of people change out the stock seat as well because it's uh, people think it's or say it's not that comfortable and I, I would tend to agree not that breathable either I man if you're if you're in the south and you got that humidity and it's 90 degrees outside and you're on your bike for any amount of time you're you get off that back, you got wet butt. It's not attractive. It's like you sit in a puddle. Nobody wants that. So usually at the end of these videos, I, I rate A to F on um, you know, different aspects of the bike. So we'll do that here in just a little bit. But it's very simplistic, as I said, uh, with your controls. I would change the mirrors just looks I mean as far as um, actually working do what they need to do they're, they're great uh, field of view is awesome and I would change the exhaust just to, to make it louder for safety purposes uh, I think it looks good I mean the exhaust looks good how it is but uh, again safety purposes trump everything else it's a nimble bike too I mean it, it you can really get it to the corner and have some fun with it
I'm looking forward to uh, seeing what Indian has in store for 2021. 20, you know, they had the Challenger uh, uh, just come out. Well, not just come out, but it's in the, their newest bike and uh, doing well. So I wonder if they have new models in store. I haven't heard anything, but you never know. All right, so let's go ahead and rank this bike. Power. It's got plenty of power. Not the most powerful bike out there, so um, I'll give it a B. B on power. Braking, I'll give it an A minus. Just because you can always be better. Braking, I'll give. Did I already do braking? I don't remember. So I'll just repeat myself if I did. Braking an A minus. Looks. Uh, C. Just on this motorcycle, and it's. Yeah, really, it's not really relevant for a review, but. So there you go. Throttle response. An A minus. Just the overall ride of the bike, of the cruiser genre. I give this a B plus. Maybe a B. Maybe I don't go B plus. I'll give it a, a, a B. It, it's uh, just a smooth motorcycle. It's been around for a long time. The Indian name's been around for a long time. They've had some issues over the years, but that was just because they were trying to switch things up. Some people really didn't know what they were doing, but Polaris owns the Indian name now, and they obviously know what they're doing. They're putting out a great product. There's some other great products out there as well, you know, where you're talking about uh, Hondas, uh, Kawasaki, Suzuki. I mean, there's a ton of great motorcycles out there. But uh, I don't think you can go wrong with this one if you're talking about uh, a cruiser. And you can add saddlebags to it. I mean, you can. there's plenty of modifications that you can do to this bike to make it more you, to make it more, quote-unquote, touring-friendly. So you can do what you want to with it and, and make it work. You don't see many people taking this bike to Sturgis. At least not riding. They might trailer to Sturgis and then ride, but that'd be it. I don't see. Uh, I don't know if anybody drive, riding a scout from Tennessee to to Sturgis this year. So there we go. The 2020 Indian Scout, man, a nice little motorcycle. Out of the Scout 60, this Scout and the Bobber. I'm still going Bobber all days because it's it looks so good. Uh, it looks so good. I look. Uh, Hopefully I can get a test ride on the, one of the new Bobber 60s, which is basically a Bobber, Bobber frame, Bobber look with a Scout 60 guts, Scout 60 engine. So um, yeah, looking forward to doing that. And the, the Bobber 20, that limited edition, man, that's a sharp looking bike. The Army Green, uh, the spoke wheels, tough, great looking motorcycle. So hopefully we can get one of those in too. Got lots of cool stuff coming up, man. Also, we're doing some vehicle test drives. I guess it'll be test drive, not a test ride. I'm looking forward to that. You can really dive this thing into the corner, man. It's it's sneaky agile. That's what I love about it. All right, we're back at the mothership, Crockett Power Sports. Another successful test ride.